Okay, what follows is a lot of footage. I'm going to sum it up for you. I'm just trying to show you stuff you can do with my new Maxotics mic bar, which allows you to load any, well, I have it built here for the Fifine USB condenser mic, but it can take any condenser mic to uh, put your condenser mic on my mic bar, um, and then, you know, a cell phone or any camera or bracket, a webcam, whatever. Anyway, in this case, I'm using the my Android Note 8 cell phone. Uh, and what I wanted to see is, could I record really good audio with this? In other words, could I set the levels? Don't use America, uh, uh, <laughs> automatic gain control. And uh, yes, I could. Um, I found that I had to pay $15 for Filmic Pro, but Filmic Pro is a video uh, recorder software for the phone, and it works really well. It allows me to set exposure, frame rate. It's just a great piece of software, $15, and it really brought out the best from this microphone. So I did that, um, and then uh, in Photoshop, I then experimented where I could blur the background pretty easily, and I could. I thought it was, wow, it works really well, so I'm, I'm pretty amazed by that. Uh, just another tangent I went down. Then the rest of this video is going to be where I was experimenting with this and the phone and uh, open camera. This is before I bought Filmic Pro. And uh, there's some issues with open cameras not as strong as Filmic Pro, but still I got very good results. I think you can too. So if you don't want to spend any money, you get open camera for the Android, which will allow you to use an external USB mic. Um, and, you know, should you ever want a gadget like mine, I hope you'll consider it. Okay, on with the uh, various footage, and uh, that's my recap. Hi. So I'm always curious, uh, you know, whether there's a simpler solution to something I want to film or use my camera for. Um, something I'm wondering, yeah, can I use now the audio from this $30 condenser mic into my cell phone is amazing. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it is. I mean, uh, again, if you're talking to your cell phone, it's not a big deal, but... Uh, I find that this is actually like studio quality. Uh, I have my Sony A6300 over there that goes into this mage well, and it's a very expensive and complicated setup. So I was thinking, oh, um, I'm going to try it with my cell phone again. I bought Filmic Pro for the phone because it has an automatic, uh, well, it allows you to set your audio gain. It has audio meters, and that's very important. So I can adjust the volume with my Fifine to get it. This $15 is well worth it. and I mean, this... This is really nice software. A couple of weird things that got me tripped up, but once I got the hang of it, I mean, you can set your exposure right here. You see, that's that's really nice. You can dial it in just exactly the way you want it. Um, so anyway, very happy with Filmic Pro, $15. And uh, uh, so I have the five feet going into it, and now I'm gonna see if in Premiere I can blur the background to get the same effect I'm getting with the other camera. So, uh, so now let's take this uh, video into Premiere and see how easy it is for me to blur the background to get as close to an effect as I can with the Sony a6300 shot wide open uh, or any camera, you know, full frame camera or near full frame camera where you can get that nice, uh, you know, uh, bokeh blur type effect. Okay, so now I'm recording with the Sony a6300 with a 35 millimeter 1.8 lens, so we're shooting at 2.8 to give you an idea of what kind of blur um, you can get in the background and see how easy it is for me to blur the background to get as close to an effect as I can. The a6300, the prime lens, the magewell, you know, a lot of money. Anyway, so I'm curious to see how close I can get to this with my Android phone and a little Premiere effect and see how easy it is for me to blur the background to get as close to an effect as I can. And then we'll compare both of these videos to, uh, together. And uh, I should be able to now link up the audio coming from this mic in Premiere with the uh, DJI Osmo. Uh, let's turn on the little video light, this little Manfrotto. I don't need it quite that bright. Uh, the little Manfrotto light. <laughs> I need to put some diffusion there. So um, uh, anyway, I just want you to see this, this whole thing. So let me just turn this to the, uh, so it's like not, it's still gonna hit me, but it's not like right in my eyes. But I'm still getting a little, I think I'm getting a little. Let's see. Now let's just turn it on. Yeah, so if I have it on bright 
and it's tilted away from me, I'm still getting enough of a little bit of a glow. Uh, all right. <laughs> Sorry, the, 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 the sidetrack. So I now have the mic, the Fife Fine, on at um, 11 o'clock, coming through the USB cable to the OTG cable to the my cell phone. I'm using open camera where I set uh, um, the uh, to use the external mic. Now let's try with some different um, volumes. So um, video. Okay, I'm starting the bottom. Video recording at 9, video recording at 9, video recording at 11, video recording at 11, video recording at 12, video recording at 12, video, re video recording at 3, video recording at 3, video recording at max, video recording at max. Okay. Uh, is there anything more here to test? Um, okay, I'm just going to okay, stop that. So before I start recording video uh, with this setup, I want to check the levels of the microphone because as far as I know, all the video recording software on a cell phone will be automatic gain correction. Uh, so I'm going to go into, it's called RecForge 2 Pro, and it seems to be the best app for this type of stuff for Android. If you know something different, let me know. Uh, I need to go into the settings. Uh, where are the settings? Uh, and there's a, I wish this thing wasn't flipped over. I mean, I wish it would flip over. Uh, there's a setting for preview mode, display the preview window to adjust the gain before recording. So I'm gonna set that to yes. I haven't tried this yet, I hope it works. And then the other thing I need to do is disable uh, AGC. So I don't want automatic gain control. I don't want the phone to try and boost this level up. I wanna see what its best net native level is according to the uh, output I'm going to put in with the mic. Uh, so I'm going to go out of here. Oops. I'm going to start record, hit record. And you can see the spikes. Uh, so obviously this is going to be, it's, it's slightly clipping. Uh, so if I turn this down, well let me just turn down all the way. You see now here there's nothing. So I'm going to bring up the level. Well, that's all background noise. That's the, there's a lot of noise in this room because that's the blower right there, the uh, the heater. <clears throat> I think that's good for a background noise. So you can hear my noise. I'm talking right here. I'm gonna bring up to 12 and I'm still talking. And it, it looks like I'm like, like I'm clipping a little bit. If I bring it up all the way, you can definitely see I'm clipping quite a bit. I'm bring it down to 12 and uh, I don't really think yeah, just a teeny bit. So maybe 11 o'clock. So 11 o'clock looks like it's going to be the best for me. <laughs> Sorry, I was wandering there. Uh, let me just do this again. Okay, so we can set the levels. There's the bottom. There's 9 o'clock. You can now start to see my voice. And you can see the, the blower fan, I mean the heater in the background. That's the heater. <clears throat> and it's very noisy. Now I'm going to bring it up to 12 o'clock. And you can uh, see that my voice is now going to the, uh, the outer edge. And if I bring it up all the way, you can see that I'm clipping. And you can see how much of the space the blower is taking, taking up. So I'm gonna bring it back down to 12. <clears throat> and even on 12, I feel it's clipping a teeny bit. So I'm gonna bring it back to about 11. And 11 looks good. They, the bars are never going all the way. So I'm using this device to make, to see, oh, I have a meter up here too, to see um, uh, to hear where the microphone will probably work optimally in the video recording thing. But we'll check it out in video recording too.